Hi, I'm Petty Officer Petrosino, and this is the Theodore Roosevelt Show. I'm standing at Pier 12, where the USS Theodore Roosevelt will soon call its new home. Petty Officer Brian Reynolds took a look on base and has an introductory for you as a sailor as to what to expect when we arrive. Hi, I'm Petty Officer Brian Reynolds, and I'm here to tell you all about Naval Station Norfolk. And as you can see, one of the most important things that I need to tell you is right behind me. Traffic. As you can see, there are literally thousands of people trying to get on base all at the same time. That's why it's very important for you to arrive here early. This is what your drive will look like all the way down to Pier 12, where the USS Theodore Roosevelt will be moored. Be mindful that while you are driving on Naval Station Norfolk, that there are numerous red lights, stop signs, and pedestrians that you should be aware of. Also pay attention to the signs in the parking lot. There are designated parking spots according to rank. If you find yourself driving when morning colors is called, then promptly pull your vehicle to the side of the road and remain seated at attention until morning colors has passed. At any given time, there can be numerous Navy vessels moored along the pier, so take that into consideration while traveling on base. And once again, I'd like to stress how important it is to get here early, where it gives you ample time to get to the ship. What you see behind me is Pier 12, the soon-to-be new home for the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt. It's located right between the U.S. Naval Hospital Ship Comfort and the USS George H.W. Bush. Pier 12 is located conveniently across from a Navy exchange. The exchange offers a wide variety of apparel, merchandise, and consumable goods. The next also offers entertainment merchandise, electronics, and uniform items. Also inside the exchange is a barber shop. Barber hours are Monday through Friday from 08 to 1700. Directly beside the next is a gym at building Q80. And inside the gym you'll find a massive fan and many people walking and running and using all this crazy fancy equipment there. Uh, they have all types of weights like you see this guy he's pumping some iron. And also there's a racquetball court like this guy. And there's a massive gym right beside that where you can run and do group PT or act like these guys. And above that, there's a big track. It's in the shape of a circle. And right outside of that, you'll find an Olympic-sized pool. It's big, the size of an Olympic one. And then right outside of that, there's the rec center. And this place is pretty cool. As you can see, we're walking through. There's a hall here. And there is a room here where you can play games or get on the computer or, you know, just kind of relax and chill out. Good stuff. And my favorite part is coming right up. Wow. And here's a room with uh, more TVs. Uh, this one you can just chill out like this guy in the back. He's probably asleep. We don't really care. But there he is. And this is the gaming room. People can bring their Xbox. PlayStation or whatnot, and just play games, have fun, chill out in the dark, apparently. And you can also play pool here. Like that. And it's also right beside that, there's a dartboard. And the bowling alley on base offers, well, you guessed it, bowling. Alright, like this guy. I've got my faith in him. Let's we'll see how he does. Not too shabby. Well, that does it for this segment. For more information, you can like the Naval Station Norfolk Facebook page, or you can look for more information in this week's issue of the Rough Rider. I'm Petty Officer Reynolds. I'll see you at Pier 12.